Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Happy Veterans Day. Um, I hope that y'all are doing well. Welcome back for another Adobe Live. Um, my name is Idara Ekpo, and I am here joined again with Roy Handy, a photographer and designer. Hey, Roy, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Um, Roy's going to go ahead and go over and show us his process on creating photo composites from start to finish. So if you were here yesterday, you were able to get a little bit of a little bit of a sneak peek of that. Um, if you're here today and joining new, welcome. You have, we have a lot in store for you today. Um, definitely want to, before we go ahead and get started, I want to make sure that I mention that you guys should definitely take, take the opportunity to check out the first week of a new Photoshop, Photoshop daily challenge. Um, Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge with Paul Tranny every weekday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. The challenge runs from Monday through Friday um, with this week and next week. So you definitely don't want to miss out on those new sets of challenges. And also, if you are over on YouTube land, I know we love YouTube, but I want you to make your way over here to Behance. Um, that way you can join the conversation, join the chat, uh, have, you know, be able to ask any questions that you might have for Roy and just really have the opportunity to participate. So uh, if you're here, go ahead and drop where you're currently um, streaming from. I see Barry's back in the chat again. Welcome back, Barry. Hey. <laughs> I see Samantha say she said that she's looking forward to part two. I definitely am as well. Andreas, um, I'm seeing quite a bit of people. So welcome everybody. Um, but welcome back, Roy. How are you? I am good. Shout out to the chat back for day two. <laughs> day about two. to get into some to some great art making, art work, collaborative efforts all coming together and being yeah. positive and whatnot. Absolutely. Um, but Roy, for the people that may be new to you that weren't here yesterday, go ahead and tell them a little bit about who you are and your work. Cool. So I am Roy Handy. That is R-O-Y-H-A-N-D-Y. Um, I am a multidisciplinary artist um, from New Orleans, Louisiana based in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, yeah, I like I like making art. <laughs> I do photography, but I do so much of like so many different things. Um, I do graphic design. I went to school for graphic design. Um, I do digital illustrations, all types of digital art, um, photography, of course. Uh, I do music, which is something that I started dibbling and dabbling in. Um, yeah, a lot of different things. A lot of um, different things. <laughs> a lot of different things. And I kind of mix and mingle them all together at times. So like today, we're going to get into like that design, photography, slightly illustrated, composite type of feel. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I could, you know, show you all my website. Um, this is where <clears throat> a good amount of my work lives, where you'll see um, some things that I've personally worked on, some commercial work that I've done um, over, I think this work is mainly this year and last year's mm. amount of work. Um, oh, just well, from that's like, it. Just, just this year and last year. That's yeah, it. like oh, wow. uh, just a couple pieces from the pandemic oh, wow. and then some stuff that I did over this year just on a personal level. Um, some music stuff that I've done, you can find my music on Apple Music, Spotify, title under Old Orleans, which is also my, uh, what is it called? My handle for <laughs> Instagram and Twitter, Old underscore Orleans. Um, you can follow me there as well. These are the brands that I've partnered with or been featured by over, I think, honestly, this might just, oh yeah, this is probably within the past four or five years. Mm. Brands that I've worked with, uh, done photography and design and a mix of the two with. Um, yeah, a couple of cool things on here. I got some collections up where you can see some new um, some new work that I've done. This new series that we worked on on day one called yes. Small Spaces. Let me tell um, you guys that series from yesterday, if you missed it, I'm gonna need you to run it back. <laughs> run it back. <laughs> run it back, <laughs> go to yesterday's stream because it was so beautiful to see how you take um, an image and just add all of this negative space, the color and just bring <coughs> everything to life um, in such a unique way that I've never seen before. So this small spaces collection is absolutely incredible. Yeah, man, it was a lot of fun. Like you said, if you know you missed day one, run it back, go run check back. out day one. It is also up on, on Behance and YouTube. Um, 
So check that out. Yeah, we had a lot of fun yesterday. But this is the small spaces series that I'm working on currently. Um, just something fun to do in my spare time. This other series, um, 000, also known as black because the hexadecimal number four black is zero, um, is a series that is based on the appreciation for black women and their hair journeys, mm -hmm. which I also have, let me pull out. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All of my things falling, great. But yeah, I made a book for it. Um, this series was done in 2017 in memory of my mother who passed away from breast cancer. Um, I did a show, a book, a website. I did a smaller version of the book if you wanted to show some appreciation on the go. Um, yeah, this was a That's really beautiful. fun project. That's Just got beautiful. a a lot of different stories from a lot of different women just talking about their journey with their hair and um what that means to them um in all ways possible and just being vulnerable and, and transparent so this was a lot of fun no it's beautiful beautiful so y'all i see that cody already is dropping the website the ig etc make your way to his website go ahead and check out the collection i know he's also got a shop page that's sitting there as well Ooh, the <laughs> so shop just page. go ahead just go ahead and plug all of that um, but definitely, definitely check out more of Roy's work because it's absolutely incredible. Yes, check it out, check it out. So within the shop page, um, right now I only have a shop open for prints for the Small Spaces collection. Um, you can buy, I think I have like 24 by 24 and 16 by 16 prints on there. So pretty big prints. It's, it's actually nicer if you buy more than one. That's not me plugging myself trying to <laughs> spend some more money. <laughs> That's me just telling you, honestly, like having one is cool. Having multiple feels really, really nice. Mm. And um, just for a little tidbit of information, um, as we go down into the photo books that I also have, um, I'm also doing a small spaces book. So it's going to be a cool little photo book that I'm putting out soon. Um, still working on it. It's self-published. So give me some time. Just getting <laughs> all of that together. I got to design it. I got to market it. I got to brand it all by myself. A one-man so, show. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, it, I'm getting it all together. Um, but, but for now, you can, um, I have my magazine, my photo magazine that is for sale. It was limited when I first released it. Um, but I have it back up for a short amount of time. It is a collection of all the photos that I shot within the pandemic. Um, it's pretty big. It's like 240 oh, pages wow. long. That's a, lot. That's a lot of art. Pretty thick. Uh, it's like a textbook. <laughs> um, I have the first version of that magazine, which was from 2019. This is volume one. Same concept. It was just my first time doing a magazine and yeah. That's a lot beautiful. of nice photos. That's beautiful. Yep. So, and like I said, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, no, you good. You can go ahead. <laughs> I'm trying to be polite at the same time. <laughs> but, go ahead. Um, like I said before, this is, uh, the 000 or black photo book is also available too. Um, so, yeah, those are all of my things on Make my sure website. Check it out. Check it out if you need a new. I love. Um, I think I love specifically that you mentioned like all of the work that you did over the pandemic. I think that while the world was in shambles <laughs> and it's still, you know, go, a lot is going on, still finding ways to be creative, still finding ways to really um, just kind of create and, and put that work out there for people to enjoy. Because I think we needed exactly. a lot of that um a lot of that within the past year now almost two years but <laughs> man that was the only thing holding me over over yeah. like the whole pandemic i was like i'm slightly introverted but like i'm that cool like i could go out and be extroverted for a little minute type of yeah. feel so like being inside at first was just like man i'm about to have the time of my <laughs> life and then a month in it was like man <laughs> i'm drowning <laughs> like help me so yeah that whole book was um that was nice just to be able to put together and it really showed me to I guess appreciate how much work mm -hmm. I had done like even through all of the the hardship and the losses that we had like being, being able to create something nice mm -hmm. out of a year full of turmoil was like oh okay cool like 
that's a nice positive outlook to have on yeah. this space that we're in right now. Um, Absolutely. So yeah. Um, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I definitely would love to talk a little bit about what are we going to be doing today, Roy? I know we had a bit of fun yesterday with small spaces. What is the idea and the concept, the plan <laughs> for day two? What you got for us? So let me pull up Lightroom. Um, so here's the thing. Actually, while I do that, I can show you all uh, kind of the gist of what we will be accomplishing today. Let me scroll up through my Instagram. Also, follow me on Instagram, old underscore Orleans. <laughs> um, so I do this like I, I don't. It's not really a name to it, to be honest with you. Like small series. I mean, small spaces is a series within itself. That was like something that I really like put together. This is just something that I just do on the fly even more so. Like I just get lost in my own thoughts and have fun. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know how you would put it. This is just like some really cool multi-dimensional, wow. out of this world, vibrant wow. color, abstracted type of stuff. I'm trying to see where's another one. This one as well. Um, yeah, I take portraits of people and then the portrait itself is very normal and then I just go blow it up like literally just blowing it up with random things that I appreciate um and there's a, like a lot of hidden gems within these pieces like different ways I'm overlaying different layers different um textures different like sayings on the side um for me, I throw in and use uh, different angel numbers within my work, within, within this body of work. Um, and that being said, today is 1111. Why not throw in 1111 in the work just to kind of <laughs> get things interesting? Because yeah. um, angel numbers to me, they, like, they really, really mean a lot when you see like consecutive numbers or just like when you see four, 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 when you see mm -hmm. seven, 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 mm -hmm. uh, or today, like when um, I booked this day, it was like, you know, you can pick 11, 10 and 11, 11. I'm like, I'm going for it. Like mm -hmm. I have to, it's kind of aligned within that space. Mm -hmm. Just to remind you that this new chapter of life, this new chapter of opportunity, you're doing the right thing. You're on the right path and your angels are actually speaking to you to guide mm -hmm. you through and let you know that you're on the right path and just keep believing in yourself. Mm -hmm. So, that's what Ooh, today that's is about. powerful. That is powerful. Oh, we, snaps we just for that. snaps for that. Snaps Come for on, that. Man. <laughs> so um, to get into what we're about to do, we're going within that whole multi-dimensional space type of thing. I might just honestly call that series multi-dimension. I don't I don't know, but that's where we're at with it. So right. from from the chat, um, I'm indecisive. That's like my little <laughs> tidbit about myself as well. Um, there's two photos up here. You wow. all can see that. I hope you yes. all can see that. Yes. Um, I need you all to tell me while I sit back and think about it and show other pieces that are similar to this, which one should I work on? One to the left, which is the blue one, or the one to the right, which is the green one? Mm. Okay, this is this is this is a bit tough. We have a vote, y'all. So put in the chat. Do you want the one to the left, the blue, or the one to the right, the green, with the big green background? So we have a vote for the right. That's one for the right. One for the right. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. we got. I like blue. So we one and one. Mm, these um, are some other pieces as well. We're Let getting right, 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 green. It looks like the green is the popular. Oh no, fairies voting multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to fairies. I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> it looks like we are leaning towards green. If I'm mm. if I'm following correctly, so we got right blue, right right. Oh right, do, 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 blue blue left. Oh wait, no, actually. Is it like tied? It's like tied. All it's right, like we're going. Tied. We're we're going with blue. We're going with blue. Just for the sake of time, we're gonna go with the blue. I'm sitting um, here trying to count the votes. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, oh, uh, wait. <laughs> so we'll go with the blue. Um, 
if we have time, I doubt we'll have time. But if we have time, I might come back to the green and kind of play around with it. But yes. for today, we will go with the blue photo, which is a photo of a good friend of mine, Jennifer. Shout out to Jennifer. Shout out, Jennifer. Um, so let's see. Do I have anything already on this photo? Let me double check just to make sure my workflow is not going to get interrupted. And it is going to get interrupted. Cool. So I am going to do a little trick that I do when I want to rework some stuff. Mm. I already have like a, like I worked within this photo a little bit and added mm -hmm. a preset to it, but I didn't do any retouching. I didn't do, obviously I didn't do any editing because there's yeah. still, uh, what's it called? Um, dang, what is it called? I'm blanking on words. What's like the, the round reflector? That's what it is. Um, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, round thing that does you know light whatever it's called <laughs> um but yeah i worked in this photo just a little bit um when i did the shoot and i added a preset to it but i am just going to reset it for now beautiful and work within this copy i just made so we're going to open that up in photoshop <clears throat> open up open up open up right from lightroom straight into photoshop Seamless. Seamless. Extremely I just, seamless. It's like one of my favorite features, especially having the workflow of working with the both the two apps. Just literally right click, bam, 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 expert to Photoshop. Bingo, you there. Right to it. Right so to it. this is where we will start. Um what I normally do with situations like this, don't forget to duplicate your layer over what well, your mm -hmm. background layer, whatever your original image is on that layer over again. Um, and there's things that I want to clean up about this. I know <clears throat> nine times out of 10, this photo will live on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, the Instagram constraints for portraits is like a four or five ratio or something uh, like that. Yeah. Um, I may just use this on like reels. So I'll keep it at a 16, nine, I believe it is. Okay. Let's see, let's, yep, 16 and, nine. and while you do that, I see a question that Fairy has. Um, yes. They said, I see you use a Sony camera. What Sony camera do you use? A A7R three, my friend. Mm. How long yeah. have you been Team Sony? Cool. Um, since 2018? Oh. No, <clears throat> no, 2019, <clears throat> excuse me. Were um, you like Canon before and then you made the switch over? Man, yeah, I was, um, nothing against Canon at all. Canon is a really great brand. They have amazing cameras and equipment and stuff. Um, but you know, like you buy your car and then you drive it and then it's like, man, that one over there look kind of nice. Let me test drive it for a little bit. And then I, I picked up the Sony, um, cause that was the most money I had ever spent on a camera. Like I went mm. from, I think I had a, I started with a T2. That was my first camera. Mm -hmm. Then I bought a, a 60D that was used. So it wasn't really that much money. Mm -hmm. um, and then I bought a 5D Mark II, which was like my, mm -hmm. like, that was like my, oh my God, I'm a professional now type <laughs> of move. And then it broke in like a month. Oh so no. Huh? How? I don't know. I let it go. It's, it's still on my, uh, what's it called? My How entertainment did, system over here. A month. You said it broke after a month. Don't know. I had was it shoot. brand new? No, that okay. that's why I didn't question it. Okay. it was, <laughs> I was like, um. It was used and like, I had a shoot book, man. It was so embarrassing, but it was like, you know, you oh. live and you learn. I had a shoot book. This lady drove an hour to meet me to get this shoot done. And she did not get my phone call or my text message or my email oh. until she had pulled up. And I was like, yeah, my camera just broke. I could give you your money back. Like that's that's all I could do. I'm sorry for you wasting time. I think she took it to heart. Um, it was like, I mean, it, it's not my fault, but yeah, you know, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> man, it is what it is. But it, it is broke, it. and I I went back to using my 60D, and then I picked up my my Sony mm -hmm. uh, in 2019. Changed my life, like changed my life the way i shoot the way like wow. the clarity on the photos and stuff it's a little expensive it's pricey don't get me mm -hmm. wrong but it's probably one of the best investments as a photographer that i've made switching wow. over to something that big yeah um 
like if you have a camera that's fine for what you do like mm -hmm. there's no need to just go pick that camera up it's mm -hmm. cool what you do but going from i think i had a camera that was like the 18 18 megapixel i believe yeah someone to, even said a uh, francisco said um the a7r3 got all the megapixels with the beast um and so yeah so man. that's the one thing the sony with those megapixels it's really something else it's ridiculous so yeah i've been using that since 2019 um i was scared to use it because i was switching over and it's like you know you trying to figure out a new system how to drive it and everything mm -hmm. like that how to really work it within your workflow <clears throat> and i just let that fear go and i'm like bro you just spent over two thousand dollars on this <laughs> camera you better go to sleep and eat like the knowledge of whatever this camera needs because <laughs> you didn't make this investment for no reason yeah exactly that's right. it so what we are doing now um is what i was doing yesterday just mm -hmm. selecting her out of the background and making her her own layer as soon as this yeah. select and mask loads and this one seems like a lot easier to have um, make that selection compared to yesterday yeah yesterday had a lot of um what's it called um a lot of colors that just clashed a lot. Mm -hmm. So like her skin tone, like I was even saying in the live, um, you don't want to have the background match the skin tone way too much. You don't mm -hmm. want to have the outfit match it too much. And everything started blending a little bit too close. Mm -hmm. So it made it a little bit more difficult, but we still, you know, we got, still to, got it. Exactly. So there's multiple different ways that you can make something work. We just had to, you know, take the wrong exit real quick. Maybe you turn. <laughs> that U-turn was going in the wrong direction <laughs> on the highway. So we're good to go. All right, so we, I think, let me zoom in a little bit because we are working at the furthest distance. I don't know why I do that at times too. Like, <laughs> I'll be working, like my photo will be all the way out here. And it's like, what are you doing? Oh, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> why are you doing that to yourself? You putting that stress in your eyeballs for what reason? Exactly. I have contacts in right now let one of these contacts fall out or something and i'm <laughs> blind like crazy like I, I can't see so yeah let me let me actually assist my vision <laughs> zoom in a little bit um let's see is that cleaned up in there yes it is are there any edges that need to be refined that's another thing too um you can like automate the refined edge but i mm. always just like going in and making sure that it's clean like yeah. just manually doing it because um, sometimes like programmatically it doesn't catch exactly what you want mm -hmm. um so it's just best to just make sure like yesterday i was showing you with blending the outline of mm -hmm. um that backdrop to where i merged the layers <clears throat> you just got to double check at times mm -hmm. so this is fine this works so we're gonna command j that's going to pull her off of there. And now she is her own layer. Own layer. There we go. Bingo. Sometimes this happens where it starts to pick up way too much. Like mm -hmm. this weird thing going on here. Normally what I would do is click into the layer that she was pulled from because mm -hmm. that still exists. And then just make that selection all over again. So I think, let's see. That was from her arm mm -hmm. to her armpit, to her chest, to her hand. Dang, it might be all the way down. Sheesh. Um, <laughs> so we might have to go back in and pull all of that, which isn't an issue because the blue is contrasted against what she has on. Yes. So, well. so it's like, just pick it up. What we'll do with that, since that select is still on that layer, is Command J. And we're going to take those two. Now you can see mm -hmm. where that filled in yeah. right up in there. Yeah, just yeah, from that yeah. selection and all we did was pick that which is so strange that she just got cut off but mm -hmm. yeah you merge those two together and now you have a full selection of her so that is her by bingo. herself perfect bingo now we can literally i can do whatever i want like if i want to let's say let's say i want to change this and see what the inversion is of that blue i could pull that yellow and use that on the palette now and I could put that behind her and you wouldn't mm. even know the difference. Mm. 
no, I don't want to do that. Because um, <laughs> I still actually really like that blue a lot. Um, yeah. It reminds me, you know, like, um, like captions on old movies with like the yellow text at the bottom. Mm -hmm. That blue, it wasn't even a backdrop. It was a white backdrop and I projected a blue gel onto mm. that. So it made it blue. So it yeah. made it kind of like glowy in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I actually, that caption, that caption reference might be some cool inspiration for today too. Hmm. But I kind of like this. I like that shape. Room. That yeah, I like I like that blue as it is. Yeah, I don't like the. It feels flat, so mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna keep that on there. So I'm gonna have her off of there just because I'm gonna put stuff behind her. One thing I know I want to do. Um, I love playing with half tones. Half tones for some reason, mm. like I don't know, like it. It's not really a reason behind. It's just like texture. Like it mm. adds like another layer of some sort of like abstract type texture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see. Let's find the ellipse tool. We're gonna pull. Hmm. At some point, I am going to chop this arm. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait till we start chopping things up, chop, chop, like. I <laughs> hmm. I don't know if that needs to be so calculated right now, mm. though, but I'm going to make this circle for now. All right, perfect. And we have another question. What's the question? Um, that says, um, who inspires you a lot on making some of your pieces? Who inspires me a lot? Yeah. Um, who asked that question? Fairy. Fairy, you inspire me a lot to be honest with you. Um, that's just like the honest truth. People who like feel different things, honestly, just human beings in general, mm. um, myself included. Like I said yesterday, like self-realization helps me uh, keep like my creative juices flowing. Um, the things that I actually like, like things I appreciate about life, um, my family, my friends, conversations that I have with people. Mm -hmm. um, this question even being asked is reminding me what inspires me and how I'm inspired. And people like us, like it's just, yeah. that's, that's, that's really it. My community inspires me. The culture within that community inspires me. Um, yeah, man, like everything that's just surrounding me in like a positive way, even things in life, like hardships and stuff like that, those yeah. things inspire me to push forward and create. Um, yeah, like that's that, beautiful. that's like the gist of it. That's beautiful. There's so much inspiration in the world. Like there's just so many people, so many different stories and just so much like art that can be created from that. Exactly. And that's like what keeps me going is like, when I go through different things, I don't just run into like a space where I can't like, I guess like cripple myself in a way. Like mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to just be put into a box and just be crippled and just not feel like I can create or not yeah. feel like I can, I guess be vulnerable. Um, mm -hmm. Cause mm -hmm. art is a form of vulnerability and letting people into your space and allowing mm -hmm. them to understand who you are through what it is that you're doing. Absolutely. Um, so even in, anything bad happen in life i'm i'm going straight to some sort of art form to be able to create um mm -hmm. yeah oh what'd you just do there half tones my friend half tones oh, okay yes 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 I'm, I'm gonna bring it back i just need to fix something in it so we're gonna go 50 pixels on a half tone wow and bring that in like it's just like a little wow. bit of texture in there. yeah yeah but i kind of want it darker hmm all right, so let's do that again. So if I change the color, and I'm still, yeah. honestly, I'm figuring out how halftones work. Mm -hmm. um, like as far as like how the colors play amongst themselves. Yeah, because I've never <coughs> even heard of halftones until you started doing all this now. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to like really just kind of dig into. Like I, let me see. I kind of got like a, a a small, like about this big of a rhythm <laughs> with playing around with it. Um, <laughs> but I haven't like fully mastered it yet. And it's like I said, it, it is OK because I don't know everything. I'm not like a perfectionist. Mm. I'm just an artist that likes feeling things out. Let me go back in there. 
Okay, so that is not what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. So let's make it, let's actually make it black and see what happens. Well, let's make it, let's make it that blue or like a darker blue. Cool. Awesome. And we have some more people hopping in the chat. Welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome for, back to our day two with Roy Handy. If you are over on YouTube, make your way over to Behance, you guys. I cannot say it enough. Um, that is b.net slash Adobe Live. So that way you can join the conversation and chat with us. Um, you have a friend up in here, Roy. Who is um, the friend? Well, there's two. There's Alexis Merritt, who's like, Roy. So hey, you know who that's my best is. friend. <laughs> oh, bet. Beautiful. Hey, Alexis. And then um, I hope I'm pronouncing this name correctly. Is it Tyreek Whittaker or? Oh, Whittaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Tyreek. Um, um, said that I'm very appreciative of working with Roy for my tea business. He's amazing and truly gifted. He's one of the one of God's favorites with the talent. <laughs> mindset. Oh man, that's beautiful. Yeah, I worked. Um, I did some product photography for uh, his brand out in Jersey. Um, if he is listening, drop in the link. Drop to, the link. Drop, drop in the link, the link type. to your brand. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I did some work with him. Uh, I think it was last year i think mm. it might have been this year i don't i don't know my sense of time is all over the place nowadays you know what's so funny the other day <laughs> i was posting something on like my instagram story and it was like multiple mm. stories and i was showing like the progress between months but i kept saying like march 2020 you know july 2020 august 2020 blah blah, blah yeah. 2020 oh and it wasn't until like maybe it was like six hours after i posted it that i was like you know we are in 2021 we are in a whole new year ma'am a year <laughs> that's about to end <laughs> right <laughs> we are well into this year at that and just sometimes my perception of time is just off Man, no, I get it. I think within all of this, like just within the pandemic, within yep. everything, like time has been zipping by so quick. Yeah. Um, to where like if you miss something, mm -hmm. it'll go from January to January. Like yep. you've missed the whole year just in yep. a blink of an eye, type of thing. Yep. Let me see. Do I want to keep that? I kind of I, I want to keep that there for now. I'm gonna revisit yeah. that later though, because I'm right. gonna spend like a lot of time sitting with that. Let me get out of there. Cool. All right. So where should I go next? I got the halftone in there. Mm -hmm. I need some sort of background behind her. Mm. Something I should be using my awake on tablet with. Also, Come photographers, on. if you don't have a Wacom tablet, or like Yadara was telling me yesterday, What's if you don't iPad? have an iPad, which way. is in the cart on my computer waiting Hello? for somebody to uh, show me some love. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, get one, use it. Is this like a smudge at the bottom? Also, don't forget, friends, clean your lenses, because that is exactly what this is yeah. at the bottom of my screen this random little dot. It's probably not even gonna be relevant in a minute, but it's gonna bother me in the moment. There we so go, much. there we go. Yep, if you can get yourself some kind of tablet of some sort, it just makes, cause we are too young to be feeling so old. My hands uh, be cramping up, mm. <laughs> wrists be in pain. <laughs> Bones is weary. Yep. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That is not supposed to be on soft. That is supposed to be on a hundred, cool. Is the flow of that the flow of that is cool okay so what are we doing now i am going you're about to see me make a million and one mistakes okay um, <laughs> all right so normally when i create like the backgrounds behind a subject it's all about just like the flow of the pen and the mm -hmm. flow of this shape if it doesn't feel right i get rid of it so mm -hmm. i i do it until it's like ah that's the one um i don't know like i said earlier I let y'all kind of decide which photo was which, which mm -hmm. means I don't know what I'm getting into. So I'm really doing this on the fly. Um, so bear with me as I create a shape. That is not the shape that I want. That <laughs> was kind of wild. That one feels a little bit better. Yeah, that's nice. So do I want to blend in? Cause do I want her in the shape? That's another thing too of deciding like how you want the person to interact with the shape. Do yeah. I want her in the shape? Actually, hmm. 
I think I'm going to take it from here and go around. Nope, don't like it. Um, <coughs> that feels like the other one. So I need to cut at this elbow. Mm. But if I cut at the elbow, that might mess up my chop. So I may just want to immerse her around it. Around it, yeah. So let's see. And then Nia it. says, Nia Allen said, Roy is, a, is amazingly talented. I've been following and watching his work for years now. And then they also made a comment about the iPad of saying that they hear you dropping the Christmas list. <laughs> see? Oh, that's Nia. Hey, Nia. Oh, Nia, Nia. That is um, my girlfriend's sister, which is also my sister, pretty much, because oh. we're just like that close. I love her. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, she's seen when my work was just blah. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, this is like extremely full circle. What I'm going to do with this, I am going, mm, no, I don't like that shape. See, I, you don't like it, the shape? Nah, some about it. It's not all the way there. All right, all right. So I need to come up. No. All right. This is me just being uncomfortable and getting out of my yeah, get space. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. Take your time. We're going to be here. All right. That's not it either. Mm -mm. And that's the best part about all of this, though, is like figuring out what feels the absolute best. Yeah. Is more so like very biased mm -hmm. i'm not biased but it's very opinionated mm -hmm. which i mean frankly but it could look amazing and i'm just like nah yeah it's not it let's see if i go up okay 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 i'm gonna go around mm. no nope that's not it either I'm trying to think how do i want this to shape I want this to go around her, but okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna invert it. That's what we do. Cool. So we'll take it here. That got jagged as soon as I started doing that. <laughs> you take it from here and bring it mm. back. Cool. Now, I know this probably doesn't make much sense right now. Nothing ever really does when I'm doing it. Um, <laughs> dang, it's like little piece that doesn't. Uh... <sighs> Bear with me. No, we got it. We got it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Kristen, Kristen says, I'm loving seeing the process for This is awesome. Um, Terry says the half tone moon is amazing. And then John said, entertaining to watch this. I am new to all to all this in Adobe. I pick up a few things. So you got you you out here teaching dropping gems for people. This is beautiful, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to the chat. Shout out to the chat. Um, y'all are amazing. I appreciate y'all feedback. I'm trying to decide if this is the curve that I want to go with. It really isn't. Dang, what's in my head? Make um, sure it feels right. Make sure it feels right. Yeah, it's just that's really just the thing. For me, it's like it looks fine. It doesn't feel, feel right, right because I, I think I have a plan for what I want to do with it mm -hmm. slightly. Let's see. That is going to go there. Nope, that's too jagged. Um If I move that over, how can I consolidate that space and then make it bigger? Mm. Move it over again. Hmm. Too big. Nope. So we're going to just keep it simple then instead of trying to do all of that extraness. What if I cut around? And then what made you want to go with the orange color? 
I haven't yet. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's the only thing, though. I haven't even like like that might change in a couple minutes. That might be mm. hot pink in mm. like got you, a got few you. moments. Do I need yeah. to make this bigger? We have another question. Do you What's like hard, do you like hard light? Uh, I do. I actually really do. I've found like a new appreciation for it recently. Mm -hmm. um, I don't do it too often. Um, I think mainly because I started off with like a lot of soft lit compositions. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like hard light is fire, mm -hmm. like literally fire. So let me clean this edge up with the pen tool. And I may be able to get what I'm trying to achieve. Come on, come through with the pen tool. Right. I'm gonna go there. Boom. That over, bring that in. Because the shape that I'm trying to get is just not cooperating with my brain today. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that. Right, literally. First step because that is acting up and then we're there. All right, cool. All right. So that is going to play a big role in how she sits within this frame. Now what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> I'm going to put her in this orange piece. Mm, okay. I actually need to duplicate her over because in the instance that I don't even like that anymore, <laughs> I need a backup. All right, so I'm gonna take her out. Nope, that's not what we're trying to do. Where's my eraser? I'm going to take her off the bottom. Make sure that the opacity 100. is only on 100. She's gonna erase some aspects of her. Right. This actually, hmm. Ah, I see what I did. Okay, so I need to actually get rid of her from here, from this layer one as well. So it's not interfering with anything that mm. I have going on. Mm -hmm. And then in a minute, I'll just clean that up. Uh, go. Michelle said, I find hard light photography is hard to do right. Yeah, I, I do as well. So I guess what kind of tips do you have for people that are interested in, to, um, in experimenting with hard light? Um, hmm. People who are interested in experimenting with hard light, what tips do I have? It depends on what it is that you're trying to do, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Like, I think you go back to the basics. Um, understanding lighting for itself, understanding the different types of lighting. Um, that's something that you got to just kind of be well versed with and understanding how it affects the skin and hits mm -hmm. the skin. Um, also understanding the, I guess, the process of knowing where to place the light. Mm. Um, because with hard light, yeah, it is kind of kind of confusing because you can get something that's like extremely flat or blown out mm -hmm. or the shadows just like, they're like cutting in like really weird spots. Mm -hmm. um, for studio photography specifically, like if you're doing stuff where it's just like the light is just still um, or constant, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit easier because you can control exactly what it is that you see by just moving it around. But for studio photography, if you're using um, strobes, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to take a lot of effort just to get it right. Um, but yeah, just knowing your positioning and stuff like that and knowing how you want those shadows to be cut. Mm. Um, yeah, that really just goes back into the basics of knowing how to light a subject, mm -hmm. um, whether it's a person, whether it's a product or just some sort of tan tangible object. But yeah. Mm. Okay, perfect, perfect. Then John also asked, what is the tool called the one you draw on? The one I draw on? I think the tablet is what he's talking about. Oh, yeah. The tablet, the Wacom tablet. It's just, dang, my cord is short. Um, <laughs> yeah, this little guy with the pen and everything. I mean, there's like bigger versions yeah. of this and all. Um, I just use one that's pretty much comparable to the size of my computer. I need to get a bigger one, but I just mm -hmm. haven't. Um, I don't know why this is taking forever to actually 
clean up. There we go. What about to say? <laughs> All right, we got that in there. We got her off of there, kinda, because that's like kind of wonky. And we're gonna erase the rest of that. Is that on? That is on. That is not on the right layer. Here. Perfect. So we erasing. Yep. And now she is wherever else I want to like cut out. Like I may want to cut out here too, mm -hmm. so that she's like in there, kind of, sort of. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna get out of there, to where she's like bursting out of it slightly. But this is like the part where it's kind of like where do you want this person to interact and like how mm -hmm. much do you want them to interact with the background um and how much of the background do you still want as part of the actual piece yeah so i think i want her like i want her to stay on this blue okay let's see so i want to select that i want to duplicate that over from that shape and make that shape blue but then mm -hmm. i'm gonna hide that and invert this or let's actually do this we are going to change that whole color mm, okay with the adjustments panel going into hue and saturation or somewhere else so, yeah Definitely the human saturation. Yeah, very. Ooh. Okay. What you looking at? What you? What you? It, it was. It was that kind of like fuchsia color that I saw. It was. I don't know. That pink purple is just kind of like did something to me. But keep going. Keep going. Um, I'm picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to find something that's gonna make it vibrate. Mm hmm. Hmm. She actually, before I even do that, I'm gonna come back mm -hmm. to that. She needs to be lifted a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I agree. Yeah, cause she's not underexposed, but it's just a little dark. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. No, come back. All right. There see. you go. Right in there. There we go. Lifting, adding that, um, lifting the exposure a bit. Helped out a handful. Yes. So uh, now I see Michelle had said, um, well, Ferry said, do a lot of hard light photography. Always think that lightings that we have represent the sun. Um, Michelle said, strobes and flashlights are really not my thing. I always get nervous with those. So, what advice would you give? Because sometimes for me, too, oh, hold on, this is beautiful. <laughs> I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't even see you duplicate the moon. Um, I know for me, I struggle with, um, I'm a natural light kind of gal, okay? So, hey, whatever the sun wants to do, I'm going to deal hey, with the sun. I and get so, it. when it gets into strobes and flashes, I think that's a goal that I have for next year. It's just, because I feel like there's power in being able to control and create what you want. Right. Um, so what kind of advice would you give for somebody who might be intimidated? Where should they start? What resources resources should they look into? Um, first and foremost, mm -hmm. the answers are within your fear. Mm -hmm. um, there's literally like nothing to be afraid of um, because it, it I mean, you're stunning your own growth by mm -hmm like staring away from it yeah um for me specifically <clears throat> when i got into photography i just wanted to be good and be able to do what i wanted to do without any limitations so yeah i started off with like natural light and stuff like that or um what's it called it was natural light or i would use like a uh, constant like so it's just like mm -hmm. a hot light mm -hmm. um because i didn't understand like the f stops or how to mm -hmm. put your aperture in certain areas mm -hmm. or how to like make light blend and move and stuff mm -hmm. and then i saw people making this crazy like stuff with six different lights and gels mm -hmm. and i'm like i want to do that how do i do that and it's like oh you got to get some strobes what's a strobe mm -hmm. you go look it up like i use um <coughs> paul c buff Paul C. Buff is the brand that um, I buy all of my strobes. Some people use Pro mm -hmm. Photos. Pro Photos are mm -hmm. like really, really amazing. Um, but if you're on a budget or need like a light that is still really good, mm -hmm. I would recommend like Paul C. Buff Alien Bees or Einstein uh, lights. 
um and just just go for it like when i first started using strobes my work wasn't really that great it was nice mm -hmm. because it looked professional it mm -hmm. looked clean it looked crisp but it's still like i still had things that i needed to sharpen up on like i wasn't amazing mm -hmm. at that um it took some time it took some hiccups it took being embarrassed by making bad photos and putting yeah. it out there and like being open to that and like give yourself some room like you said yesterday give yourself that grace to be able to like fail for a little bit and learn because yeah. you can't yeah. learn from anything if you're not actually putting yourself in a position to that's so, true go for it like literally just take that leap it's when you do it you'll realize man that leap really wasn't that big mm -hmm. but just overcome whatever it is that's making you steer away from it and you'll thank yourself once you really get good at what it is that you really trying to achieve mm -hmm. but it's fun i promise y'all like i love natural light somebody asked me the other day if i'd uh mm -hmm. shoot outside i'm like yeah but what if it rains like <laughs> i'll shoot in no, the rain too but. but that's the thing that's the thing it's um you know, that's why I have the goal of, I've done a bit of studio photography, but not to the, I'm not where I would want to be. Mm -hmm. And it's just sometimes like the sun is there, but I could, the I could plan a shoot tomorrow and it decides that it wants to be all gloomy and dark and Listen. there's no light, like, <laughs> or, you know, it could rain and it's pouring rain and I can't shoot outside. So it's nice to be able to have a bit more flexibility in your workflow so you can actually offer those opportunities like okay i can't shoot out but hey you know come to my spot my garage and we can i have some lights and we can do whatever we can do you exactly. got a studio that you have access to etc it just kind of keeps you covered and that's that's literally the key just mm -hmm. jump into it for me like even with shooting natural lighting and stuff mm -hmm. um i had to stop because I didn't realize as a young photographer that I wasn't supposed to be on like different locations. So it's just mm -hmm. like not necessarily getting in trouble for shooting um, in spaces that I wasn't supposed to, but it would be times where people would be like calling the cops because I'm, um, I don't know, like shooting uh, near a building or like calling security and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, they're like hassling you over these different things. And I'm like, I'm mm -hmm. just, I'm just like, a kid like I just want to take my pictures like it's not that deep it's not that deep yeah so I mean when I started realizing I was getting into so much of those like situations or so many of those situations I'm just mm -hmm. like man let me you know I've been wanting to learn how to use strobes let me just buy one and then it turned into buying two and then it turned into buying like five and it's like all right mm -hmm. you just keep moving on up from there I bet. I'm still working in my head because I'm trying to figure out okay well how i want to okay i know how to do it never mind i was trying to figure out how i wanted to do this background because mm -hmm. you see it's like kind of splotchy of a pinkish in here mm -hmm. it's not like anything that's overly like okay so what you're, it, saying. you're not gonna notice it just from like the naked eye but i can see it and it's mm -hmm. like slightly bothering me <laughs> So yeah, I'm just because I didn't notice it, <laughs> and then you pointed out. I was like, "Oh, okay." But no, there you go. I, that's a lot cleaner. Yeah, all I did was color select that yellow mm -hmm. that is being used. Mm -hmm. um, I made another layer so that it's flattened, and then I put that in there. Got so it. So now this is vibrating a little bit more than I well, a little bit more to the direction that I want it to be in. She needs mm -hmm. to be boosted a little bit more, just a tad bit. That's a little bit too much. Nah, she, she's probably fine where she is. Because mm. I'm going to go in and clean that up in Lightroom later on anyway. Mm, okay. So we got the two halftone moons. Who called them moons? I love I said, that. I said moon. I don't know if somebody hey. else said moon in the chat, but I said, um, I think I might have read a comment that said halftone moon. I love it. Um, because moon just, yep. Yeah, so, um, Tara said, the halftone moon is amazing. I knew it came from somewhere. Yeah, no, I love that. I didn't even predict, I mean, plan on that being a moon, but that is, that is a great way to look at it. Mm -hmm. So two spots that I know I want to cut. I want to cut here and I want to cut here. Okay. Do you usually find yourself cutting in like the, in similar places? Like, do you always go for the neck, go for the forearm? Most of the time. 
um yeah most of the time it's like arms and like i don't know spaces where it's like a lot of no, no. space um yeah let me actually no, i'm gonna leave that alone for now that's like an interesting little triangle up there um what do i want to do first though hmm I feel like it needs a little bit something else. It's missing something. We're gonna cut first and then just figure it out later. Mm -hmm. So for this process, similar to like I did yesterday with the tree. Um, also, again, just a reminder, if you missed yesterday's live, you can go and run that back. Run that on back. YouTube and Behance. Yes, um, yes. It is still up and available and it was a lot of fun. Let's pull the ellipse tool and we're going to make a little oval. Mm. Ellipse oval. Where is that at actually? Bring it all the way up. We're going to rotate this. I don't want to interfere with her tattoos, mm. but I, I kind of want to. <laughs> what does it say? cannot see interesting i don't know what the rest of it said though mm -mm. i would probably use that if i knew what the rest of it said or i could play off of it later um we are going to take this no not make another one relax <laughs> the perspective of that might be slightly off though hmm yeah, we're gonna cut it there anyways. I don't care. <laughs> That's like me just like I start thinking too much about it. And I was like, bro, just do it. Just, <laughs> why are you getting that technical? It is not that not serious that, at all. Not that deep. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really not. And I know I am going to need this to be slightly seamless. So I am going to get as close as possible as I can to the edge of mm. her arm. Interesting. Right there. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, like we did yesterday, is that the spot that I even want? Mm -hmm. No. To, I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Well, I'm going to need that anyway. So, we're going to cut. How much of a cut? Okay. Question to you Big cut, yes. small cut? Big cut. Big cut. All right. Cool. All right, so we're going to bring this all the way over. Because I, I think I was really excited for all the chopping to happen, so let's make it big. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. So we're going to bring that as close to the fold of the arm as I feel comfortable. That's fine. And then we're going to bring that back over mm. as close to that sleeve. Bring it down. Let's see. Wrap up a little bit. And cool. Cool, yeah. Um, question for you again. Yes, what's up? What color? Um, I felt like a lot of responsibility in that question. And I feel like. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I was about to ask, um, either what's your favorite color or okay. what color do you want the inside of the arm? See, to the, be? yeah, the second question is what I thought you were going to ask me. And I felt like that was too much responsibility. <laughs> My favorite color could be something else. That's easy to throw out and you can decide what to do with it. Cool. <laughs> Let me actually chop this first and then we'll get back to that. Okay. Boom, bam. Where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Just had to remind myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, what am I, what's the process? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna chop that. I did that wrong because I hit a little spot. Chop that right up the, you know, 
Cut it out. 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 So you just got to, I think the perspective always has to match the direction of whatever the spaces that you're cutting. So you would never want that, like that spot right there. Mm -hmm. Um, Mainly because you wouldn't see the under part of the arm. I don't Mm -hmm. think. Hold on. No. Yeah. Because her arm is pointing outward. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you wouldn't see inside going in this direction. So we would just mm. delete that. Got it. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right. So now we could do a million and one things. I mm-hmm. can take the color from this background and make it that. I can. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. Carol ha- asked the question. She said, uh, why wouldn't you mask that? And I don't know what that's ref- what part that's referring to. The arm? Um, I don't know. That's like, for me, you can do it that way, to be honest with you. That would be a, a, a easier, not an not a easier, it would just be another way to do it. Um, that way, if you do mess up, you can just clean it while you're moving around. Mm-hmm. For me, I just, I mean, I duplicate it. So if I do mess up, I got another yeah, version another of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, masking it, like, I like masking in certain situations. I think for this, the way it's, like, programmed in my head is, like, do it just like this. But also, if you can't do it like that in another situation, you can mask it and do something different. But mm-hmm. this is just, like, my quick go-to. Got it. Got it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, you can... Mm-hmm. Ooh, Donovan said lime green. Hmm. Lime green. Shout out to Donovan. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, let me see. Lime green. That's not lime. That's like a. I don't know what that is. That's kind of lime, but that ain't lime enough. Is East there East another East. Roy Handy? Somebody said this guy is the greatest of all time, and he has a great name. That's probably my father. Shout okay. out to my father. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was like, are you a junior? Cause <laughs> I'm actually the third. He's a junior. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, he's the reason, him and my mother is the reason all of this is possible. So oh, shout out to beautiful. those two. That's for being beautiful. Great yeah. in creating me. Yeah, I said it, I saw it, I was like, that's gotta be his dad. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody hacked your account, sir. <laughs> nah, that is that is definitely my pops. Um, the lime green is doing a little bit too much because mm-hmm. it's blending a little bit too much in there. Mm, very um, so the lime green should be a little, should be a bit yellowish. Right, or what we could do. I'm mm, gonna razzle dazzle this real quick. Razzle see if dazzle. I could finesse it slightly. If I could add pink on the inside and have the lime green act as the center, that could work. Mm-hmm. It's still kind of clashing with this. Yeah, it's a lot going on. Yeah. Let's find. You know what? Let's actually make it look like it's open from her skin. Because what I'm about to do, I'm going to make this black and white anyways. Um, What I'm going to do is pull her skin tone. Cool. And then what we're going to do from there, I could have just left that open. We're going to make it darker. That's still kind of faded out. What's going on? Maybe it's this. Maybe I, mm, you know what? Cool. Move this here. Mm. But in the process of moving that there, what is going on with this? Is that a back? Is that a? I know why. Cool. Okay. I know exactly why it's doing that. That is from this. Yep, that is exactly from that. So what I will do with that is take that out. Because mm. that space is interfering with, it's interfering with the backdrop. No, I know what. Okay, 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 okay. Cool. That's what we're going to do. Mm-mm. There we so, go. And Carol said your exposure layer isn't clipped, or she's asking. Mm-hmm. That, that's exactly what yeah. it is. Mm-hmm. 
So is that still, and then that is still in there. So take that out. Cool. All right. So that was the problem with that there thing. There we go. So now I can move this freely without it having a little weird space that was there. Mm -hmm. I really don't like that right there. Um, maybe if but, I Yeah, I was going to say, if you put that one there, you got to move the other one. Yeah, that feel, yeah, that feels better. Yeah. Put it there or something. And that blue kind of needs to... Let me actually make a selection for that. That blue, that little pink piece right here is just bothering mm -hmm. me. It's Agreed. just like, who invited you over here? <laughs> like, why are you like, there? <laughs> right. <laughs> so I am just... Matter of fact, I am going to just paint that in, to be honest with you. Um, we're going to use the stamp tool. Cool. Boom. There we go. Yeah. Clean and seamless. Right. So now we can get back into that lime green. Who said lime green again? Remind me. Um, Donovan. Shout out to Donovan. <laughs> My God. Um, all right, let's see. Yeah, that lime green is. Maybe that pink is a little bit too thick. Yeah. Maybe I'll just leave it as the lime green. Thank you for the suggestion, Donovan. If anybody else has any comments or questions, suggestions, throw, throw them in the chat. Um, and then if you are over on YouTube, make your way over to Behance so you can join the conversation. We have about another hour left. And so if y'all wanna hop on over here, ask your questions, give your feedback as we work on finishing this image. Come on over. Come on over. Let's see, why is this? Am I? Okay, I'm just gonna take it out. Don't worry about it. Cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now I may, no, mm -mm 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 -mm. that still needs, I still want it to be a 10. Yeah. Why is it not going to 10? Yeah, oh, Rory says no pink. I'm an agreeance. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> nah, I get it. Uh, I'm gonna just go with the lime green. That um, that feels a little bit better. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna get a little experimental and make this hand black and white for absolutely no reason. I might make this whole arm black and white, to be honest with you. Mm. It's just random. Like, I have really no reason on why I like doing that, mm -hmm. um, to be honest with you. It's just like, I don't know, it's like that one thing that kind of stands out. Like, yeah. Like, it, it's different. Just adding like a small bit of contrast in there. But it's only if you catch it. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got that selected. Now we're gonna go back into adjustments. Um, go to human saturation. Mm -hmm. Bring that all the way down. I'm not gonna bring that brightness up. I am going to make another adjustment layer for contrast. Bring it down some, bring that brightness up in that layer. So that's a little bit more prominent. Mm -hmm. And I caught a little bit of the hair in here, which yes. is like a small, but a little annoying detail. Yes, yes, yes. And that then up. Cody, thank you for dropping that in the chat. In about 20 minutes or so, we'll be doing an artist spotlight. So if you would like to recommend, nominate yourself or somebody else in the future for an artist spotlight, definitely feel, feel free to um, fill out the form in the tab above the chat. So go ahead and do that for a future artist spotlight. But I'm excited to talk about our artist for today in a bit. I'm going against <laughs> what we just discussed. <laughs> Sadly enough, because I think I actually want a sh like a stroke or something on there. Mm. You know what? Got another idea. Look at that. All right. So what I was doing a minute ago with her skin tone, mm. I'm going to have that coming from here. Nope. Still dolled out. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting development. 
What if I did it gray? Since it's already gray. No, nope, it's kind of weird. What if I did darker gray? That might be kind of cool. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. I kind of dig that a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Um, all right, cool. So we got the chop, we got the black and white, we got the uh half tones, we got the shape. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, nah, I'm gonna get rid of this little triangle up here. I liked it in the beginning. Not really too fond of it now. <laughs> And that's what happens sometimes, you know, you just kind of find yourself working. You're like, you know what, what I thought I liked, I don't like no more. Right. That's life. That's life. We live, we learn, and we grow. That's it. Such is life. <laughs> and with that, I just grew. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Growth. That is growth. <laughs> you know what? Ah, that could be the word for the day. Growth. Yes. So I actually need to start implementing a few other things. Let me. So as I go through this um, word of advice, always make sure your layers are organized. I work <laughs> so wild. Like I'm just on the move. Um, I got a bunch of layers that's just on my panel. And it just says ellipse one, ellipse one copy. I know what it is. I could open it and be like, yeah, I know where everything's at. <laughs> but I've been in some files where I'll get a hundred layers deep and it's like, you knew better than this. Yep. And now you gotta suffer. So yep. figure it out. <laughs> um, I was about to go and clean my layers. We're not about to do that because I'll take forever doing that. So instead of spending so much time there, what we are going to do because of the time that I'm now checking it is 142. We are going to add the other elements that I want to put in, such as the type. Let's see. Oh, Donovan made a good point. So the clash of black and white and the bright green can give a great, um, give a great frame to her face. I agree. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Interesting. That is a mm, that's good a good point. observation. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to use my favorite type of face for stuff like this SF Pro display. Ooh. We are going to keep this at a 20 point font. Um. Hmm. 11, 11. Definitely yep. dialing that up in here. Um. We're going to make that white. I am going to hide that. We're well, not even really hide it. No, chill out. Um, <laughs> just moving around. Let me lock my layers. Like, <laughs> like what you doing? What you doing? Come on now. Don't do don't don't do that to me. <laughs> lock all my layers that I don't want moving because I know they're just gonna be where they are. This is that one. Yep. These are good to go. That's good to go. What's this? That's good to go. Cool. All right. Um, let's see. I don't need to do that. We're going to go there, but we are going to drop that somewhere down here. You know what? No, we're not. Mm -mm. Let me keep it up there. Mm. I'm gonna duplicate that over because I want to do some text on the side. Mm -hmm. Um, what's her name from Insecure? Um, ooh, ooh. you watch uh you watched the season right? Well, episode yeah. one, the yeah, one yeah. that like died. Um, hey, what's her Kelly, name? Kelly, 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 Kelly. <laughs> Quote. You know what that's called? Growth. That's why Growth. I did hey. <laughs> Growth. You know what that's called? There we go. <laughs> We're adding that in there. Throw the quote up in there. That's what this is called. Growth. Growth. Cool. We're going to if y'all don't that. march, it's secure. You are 
very much so missing out, I will say. We are in the last season. Oh, stress. Stress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's been good so far. I'm trying yeah. to think. What else do I want to add here? I think I'm going to add slight fade out. Mm. So this is going to be a 50. And I'll do a 30. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Actually, do a 20 because that is distracting. <laughs> While I'm doing this, another little thing. You see that little line? Oh, yeah. Make sure your layers are clean. That is key. I don't even know what that is. I think I might. I might. I don't know. I hope I do. Because if I don't, I'm going to be sad. Is it? It is that. All right, cool. I know what it is. Clean up your layers yep, before you export. Yep. Because like you said yesterday, you might not see something. Then you go Oof. ahead and you upload that image up onto IG. Mm -hmm. Throw it on Twitter. Facebook, if you're still on Facebook. Right. <laughs> Shout out to the Facebookian. <laughs> and then you realize like, oh, there's a line. There's a specific small detail that you missed that you didn't clean up. Man, it's like that. What's that TikTok dude? It's like, oh Lord, like <laughs> I just noticed I got a hiccup. Oh man, yeesh. All right, I, I, don't, like really, I don't really like that. Take that away. That's not really my approach to this um, layer style. I'm going here, hmm, not for that layer. Or this one specifically. Ooh, somebody said hello from Russia. Very Ooh. cool graphics. Russia, what's up? We got Russia in the building. Hey. Shout out to Russia. Talk, talk about being international. I see you, Adobe. Right. <laughs> we worldwide. We that's worldwide. <laughs> nah, that's cool. Shout out to Russia. Nah, I don't like that either. I don't want to shut up behind it. I'm gonna just leave it like as simple as possible. Mm, okay. Um, so I'm gonna keep that there. Da, 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 da. I need to find. You know what? I might not even do this because I got another idea. Remember earlier I was telling you about the yellow, uh, like subtitle type of thing, mm -hmm. like captions that's on yeah, old yeah, photos. Yeah. I might do that. I might need a typeface for that though. I like that placement. Let's see, not that one. Do I want to use baby? Do you find yourself oftentimes just playing with different um, fonts, or do you usually navigate towards the same? Um, my go-to is SF, um, mm. which is like I think San Francisco is the font. That's just the actual name. Um. I use a, like a lot of bold fonts um, or typefaces. Um, I don't, yeah, like bold sans serif typefaces are just my thing. Mm. But my go-tos are like Railroad Gothic, um, Be Best, Nude, SF Pro. Um, but then I get like real like weird and start digging into like a bunch of random stuff too. Um, just when I'm doing like different illustration projects that I don't yeah. feel like doing like hand lettering or custom stuff for. Mm, got it, got it. Let's see here. Ah. Mm. Nah, because I know I'm gonna spend a lot of time trying to figure that out. So I'm gonna leave it to how I normally do it. But mm -hmm. I like the idea of doing that. Yeah. I, I need to figure out what typeface or how I want to actually put it together. And yeah. in my head, there's like some distortion and some grain to this photo that needs to be ah. added. And that's a whole nother level that I actually need to tap into. And it could take another two hours and we don't have that time. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that type of time. <laughs> so another element to this, I guess like 
concept or theme that I do is pull a color that is speaking to me as I work mm -hmm. um, and just highlight the hexadecimal from that. Mm -hmm. So for this, it is this like pink. So what I do is just go in, copy the hexadecimal from it, and I put it into the work. Ah. And this typeface might actually be too big. Uh, probably not, but. What if I make it a 15? No, chill out. Stop <laughs> it. Just coming out of nowhere. Hold on. That needs to be deleted. Go back in with that. There we go. Right. Like just doing what it want to do for whatever reason. All right. So I make that a 16. 16 feels cool. It's small, but it's like, I don't want these to feel like it's way, not even way too in your face. Like I want it to feel small. I want it to mm -hmm. feel like you have to like zoom in yeah, to yeah, read yeah. the messages and stuff. Um, uh, what do I want to do with that one? Do I want to leave that one to 20? No, I'm going to bring it to 16. As well. Um, what else do I need to add in here? I got my words. Mm -hmm. I got my um, half tones. I got my chops. I got my black and white. I need to clean up this weird little halo on here. Where's the halo? This thing. Oh, that's I see it. Hand. I see it. I see that. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, it's, it's fine. It would be nice to clean it up, but I don't mm -hmm. want to spend way too much time on that. Um, hmm. What else do I need to add? My butterfly. Oh, yes. Let's do another. Yes, yes, yes. That's add fine. the butterfly. I don't know which one I want to use. We're running with the stock butterfly today. <laughs> Random question. So I do a lot of self portraiture. Do you mm. do photo composites with self portraits at all? Oh, yes. Ooh. Um, that's how I learned this whole like butterfly technique, to be honest mm. with you. So um, I can show you if you remind me. Please remind yes, me because I would I, like I, to show you. If I don't remember, please, y'all in the chat, <laughs> remember please. to throw it in the before we finish, because I think that'll be dope to talk about real quickly. Yeah, that's like one of my favorite things to do is just mm. add different things to my own photos. That's how I test yeah. things out in the beginning. Like, True. is this going to work for somebody else? Let me make sure it works on me. Mm -hmm. But then I end up making something cool for me, and it's like, I don't want y'all to have this. <laughs> <laughs> You can't have I, it. I know that feeling far too well. It's like, oh, no, this isn't for sale. Do you ever also, like, with the concept of chopping things up, do you ever have anything, like, coming out of where you chop? Like, for example, her arm or, like, maybe something. Like, do you ever do anything unique in that kind of aspect, if that makes sense? Um, I know exactly what you're talking about. So like, like butterflies like a, coming out of her arm or like, you know, right, like flowers and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Flowers, um, yeah. I've tried it before. And what steered me away from it was I felt like I was doing something that somebody else had did. Because um. Um, I was literally looking at an image like, oh, I want to learn how to do that. And I'm like, I'm just doing exactly what, what someone else is doing. Right, what you just did. It's cool. Um, I understand how to do it, but it just felt like I was just recreating what they already were mm, doing. Um, that makes sense. Which, I mean, you know, you get inspired in different ways and stuff. Like, I'm not the first person to figure out these Photoshop tools. I'm pretty sure somebody has figured this out along <laughs> the way. Um, I just do it in a way that I want to be able to put it out to the world. Mm -hmm. I don't think with that style per se, I had figured that out enough to say, okay, this is how I do it. It was just a way of doing it. Got it. Got it. But yeah, it, it, that definitely is like an interesting play on how um, composites and stuff, like when mm -hmm. you make things pop out of different spaces. Yeah. Oh, yep. no. We have another question. So I know we got about five, six minutes before that artist spotlight. Um, Fairy, fairy's been coming through with the questions yesterday and today. <laughs> um, 
do you ever photograph something during the storm or when it's raining? Or do you see the like, rain and say like, nah, like I'm not doing it? Like outside, just like I've, hmm, have I? I know I see rain and I run the opposite way. So <laughs> like, um, I think I have. I've shot in the rain maybe twice. Mm. Um. Yeah, I mean the photos came out really well. I, I like I, I dig when you get to shoot in weathers that aren't happening so often. If that makes mm -hmm. sense, I don't know if I worded that right at all. But um, yeah, I like snow, rain, mm -hmm. like heavy weather like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, for sure because the reflections off the ground, off yeah. the buildings and glass and stuff, off of, like, I have this umbrella that's like a dome umbrella, mm -hmm. um, and it's see-through, so, like, the reflections mm -hmm. off of that, um, yeah, like, definitely. I don't, like, if I'm going outside, I don't do it often, but the yeah. time that I have done it, it it's, it's cool. Yeah. We are going to change the butterfly really quick, because I would like to change the color of it. Before yeah. we hop into the spotlight. Oh. That green though. Put green down. And then what if? Nah, that's too much. Mm. Put that bluish green right there. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Change the levels again. So it feels a little bit authentic. I, I really do love how when you're going through the photo, you're just allowing like all the colors, like so far just seems based off of a feeling. Like we didn't go in with the plan of like, we're gonna have greens, we're gonna have this color pink, we're gonna have this or that. We just knew we wanted to keep the blue of some sort. Mm -hmm. um, but I love how it's starting to come together um, just based off of like feeling and seeing what colors kind of work together and what feels right. Man, that is the key. That's as long cool. as it feels good as to you, it, mm -hmm. you're let, doing your, something right. let your emotion drive your work. Right. You know exactly what you want, so go for it. That's it. Do I have enough space? You know what? I'm going to try something different today because I never actually... Wait, what did I just delete? No. One second. Let me regain. Okay, cool. I know where I'm at. All right. Um, I never actually chopped like this at all, but okay. I mean, uh, you know, ain't no rules to this. There's no rules at all. <laughs> so we're going to chop right in here along this like choker that she has on. Okay. Or we may just, no, nah, I'm going to just change the color of the choker. I don't want to chop anything right there because the direction of it is going to be like really strange. Mm. Like, I, I don't want to interfere too much it'll just make this weird curve and mm -hmm. all this other type of stuff i'm not even about to do that we got two are we doing an artist spotlight at two yes cool. in about two minutes cool so let me knock this out before we talk about my amazing friend You know what? I might have did this wrong. <laughs> might have did this wrong. Let me actually see what that feels like before I even go mm. right there. Because if I take this out, mm. and I'll go back and clean it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try that. I may actually just chop it off. That works too. <laughs> yeah, because like the, what's it called? Changing the, the choker color would have just been weird. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. Yeah. Go there. I'm probably not going to add any like internal pieces or whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it and just have it flow the way that it is. Yeah. Cool. Boom. 
going down. Bingo. <clears throat> is it it? Is it it? No. Two. Oh, no. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I had it inverted. That's my fault. Um, All right, perfect. I still need to clean that up, though, because that space is still existent upon here. Do you want to clean it up now or or before or after the spotlight? Uh, we could do the spotlight and not come back right. to it. All right, all right, because I think we're getting we're getting into a good spot. So, cool. let's go ahead and pull up our artist spotlight for the day. Oh uh, wait, oh no, that's not it. All right, oh there it is. All right, cool, cool. So, Ryan Stokes, my guy, Ryan. Yes, Ryan is an amazing photographer that is based in Atlanta. Um, he takes amazing portraits. I don't know what else to say about Ryan other than he <laughs> is a genuinely dope human being that just makes really great artwork. Mm -hmm. um, he brings the beauty. Ooh, that photo um, with the, the ocean behind that guy. This one? Yes, that one looks absolutely breathtaking. Oh my gosh. It's very trippy and like, it's just so like, it's clean, but it's whimsical as well. Yeah. Right. Like, and the color grading is so stunning as well. He does brown skin justice. Like he, he, he really does his thing when he goes in and edits photos and everything. Mm -hmm. um, I really appreciate his work. I've always appreciated his work. I've known him, I feel like, I don't know, probably since I started um, shooting and meeting people in mm -hmm. Atlanta mm -hmm. um, when I started photography. But yeah, he, he really does an amazing job with the people Ooh, that he shoots that smile right there and the those close up beauty shots are stunning man oh wow yeah his, his work is ridiculous wow. this is ryan right here oh hey Ooh, ryan <laughs> so yeah if y'all you know go give ryan a follow his instagram is underscore ryan stokes Beautiful um, work. I love that he says I take photos of people because I, I resonate <laughs> with that. You asked me, what's, right. kind of, what's your favorite type of work to do? Anything that involves me taking photos of people. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No, nah, his I, I really appreciate his work a lot. And I think that's one thing for me too is like when I when I started doing photography, I was into like the beauty, into the portraits, mm -hmm. like just that by itself. And mm -hmm. then I started kind of like dipping and dabbing and making photos into like deeper graphical art forms and stuff. Yeah. A lot of the time I miss the beauty of just like this, like just being yeah. able to have that. And it's like that. That's that's it. That's yeah. all like it's beautiful by itself. You don't have to do anything to it. Yeah. It's, it's just clean and it makes you feel like refreshed. Yeah. His, his work really reminds me that it brings me back to that space anytime I actually go and look at his page. Yeah. Wow. That's stunning. Even the black and white art that he has. Um, yeah. This is that one right there. Favorite. That one right there. That one right there is absolutely breathtaking. This is my like literal favorite photo that he's ever shot. Um, it's just, I don't, it's just raw. Like, mm -hmm. it's just so cool. But yeah, I, I literally could go through his page all day. Like, he's just one of the dopest individuals I've met along this journey of doing photography um, in Atlanta, just meeting different people. Yeah. Like, definitely a stand up guy, definitely a very genuine human being. So, like That's I said so before, beautiful. check out Ryan's page, um, go give him a follow. Tell them I sent you. You <laughs> probably won't get anything by telling them I sent you <laughs> other than a thank you. Um, but yeah, he's, he's a cool guy. Yes, follow Ryan. That's absolutely beautiful. And if you are um, joining us, oh, let's go on his website too. I think that'd be dope. Does he have oh, yeah, any other sure. work on his website? Let's check. Uh, follow, follow the, the link. link. Follow the link. Let's see. Cool, yeah. Oh, Personal work, commercial that. work. 
he does black and white. Oh, wow. That fish eye. That one, that fish eye is ridiculous. mad. That is mad crazy. Yeah, this wow. this is cool. That, ooh. Wow. I don't even think I've seen I probably have seen that, but just seeing it again is like, dang. Yeah, wow. Yeah, he he does a hell of a job. I will say that. As every photo is just so like beautiful and unique in their own in its own way. He's a very, very strong portfolio. Right. Extremely strong. Yeah, because each photo is like just so just, different. Right. It pulls you in. Mm -hmm. But like when I see his work. I'm just like, I know that's, I, I know it's mm -hmm. Ryan's work. Not just mm -hmm. because I know him, but I know the emotion that he's pulling in mm -hmm. to his work. Yeah, like it, oh, like wow. I said, I could go through this literally all day and just look at his work and just be in amazement. Um, again, go give Ryan a follow. Yes. On the Ryan Stokes on Instagram. Check out his website, yes. ryanstokes.co um yes. yeah go show him some love yeah show him some love thank you cody for dropping ryan's ig and website in the chat um don't forget to submit your recommendations for creative creatives to highlight for our next um artist spotlight again it's just above the chat next to info there's an artist spotlight button so if y'all have any recommendations feel free to throw them in there so that way we can keep them in mind for the next artist spotlight beautiful indeed indeed, indeed. I love when, like, like um, that feeling of just, I guess, like recognizing people who do great work, mm -hmm. um, big or small following. It doesn't really matter. But just the fact that people like that exist yeah. because it puts you in a different place of understanding, like, dang, there's other people that see the world differently yep. than you, but also see it in a beautiful way. Yep. So cool. So are we back at the uh, chopping up the neck? Yep, back at the neck. <laughs> um, I'm trying to figure. Oh, that's why I was doing that. All right, cool. I know what I did wrong. I need to be on the black one, and then yeah. Mm -hmm. Donna made a comment about the shooting in the rain. Mm -hmm. um says i've tried to capture images in the rain sometimes successfully i want to be able to capture the sparkle on the raindrops or sparkle in glass i need help with this sparkle in the raindrops or sparkle on glass like um dang i wish there was a way i could actually see an example of what it is that yeah you if I'm thinking correctly, if you're talking about like the sparkle that comes from like the camera, from like light reflecting and stuff, that's a mm. starburst filter. Mm. Um, if that's what you're talking about, I'm not too sure that's what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> but that's a, good, that's a good suggestion there. For sure. If you need a starburst filter, I recommend um, prism lens effects i think it's called mm -hmm. i have like yeah yeah i got like a few of their filters here which is do you like them like, i've been seeing like their filters always pop up oh, okay that's a yes do I? <laughs> <laughs> I got this holographic kaleidoscope ah. filter it's like whose idea was this and i'm not <laughs> complaining like it's amazing um i had a few cheaper ones off of amazon and mm -hmm. they work but i mean cheap glass on expensive glass is it doesn't make any sense yeah um so yeah if that's what you're talking about cool but if not yes um, if not let us know let us know i know fairy put in here saying capturing sparkle i would say use manual focus and use a small open aperture and quick and quick enough shutter speed so that's a suggestion as well um but donna if there's anything else that you want us that you were talking about definitely do let us know Indeed, indeed, indeed. And if you have an example, um, mm -hmm. shoot me a DM <clears throat> and I'll take a look at it and try to help you. Um, but yeah, kind of going back on my word about adding something in here because wait, no, go back, go back. Go back. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, because I think I, I do want there to be something, something. 
But I also need to clean that up too because now that is slightly wrong. Um, and it is 2.10, all soon. <laughs> we are on a roll. We are and we're actually roll. almost done, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. We're making our way. We're making our way downtown. Where is... So this? Donna said, actual light that creates the starburst. I can see it, but can't capture it. Is the starburst filter on my camera? Yes, the starburst filter is on the lens the light that creates it is literally just a it's a direct light um mm -hmm. so when you shoot directly at the light source it'll create a starburst if it's reflected off of a building if it's strong enough then the starburst filter will pick it up um mm -hmm. I, I hope that answers your question i hope <laughs> Let's see, we'll clean this little thingy thing up. Yep. Now, am I doing that right? Am I even, am I even who I say I am? <laughs> <laughs> you start questioning everything. <laughs> who have I become? <laughs> who am I? Oh, man. Um, dang, wait, 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 wait. Where are we? We are here. So that actually needs to come up some, okay. Right. So now we select that. Outside of that, this one. Where is that layer? Delete that. Clean that up. And then go back, oh yeah, this side too. And then go back into this layer mm -hmm. paint it in with the black because that is on a mask there we go and oh, bingo no oh no <laughs> <laughs> um i can fix it though um I'm taking the easy route out because I don't feel like doing that again. So what <laughs> that looks like is selecting this space, using the stamp tool, actually selecting this layer first and then using the stamp tool, going in and no, that's no, mm -mm, that is You're not. in the wrong layer. There oh. we go. This is like the halfway lazy way to do it, which I don't <laughs> honestly feel like I should be doing it this way because it's probably going to add more work. Um, you know what? Let me stop. Let me just do it the right way. The right way is never the wrong way. <laughs> it takes a little bit more time, but... No, it's never the wrong way. Right. Just do it the right way and get it over with. Cause the more you try to like half step stuff, it's just like you're just right. digging yourself a, a bigger hole. Like, <laughs> right? Like, bro, just just do it the right way that you know how to do it. Don't try yeah. to take you know shortcuts around mm -hmm. this. You know better than that. Cool. So get that out of there again. And come back and paint cool. it back in. Exactly. I'm following. I'm following. See. It's it's all just within the rhythm of how you see it. Like yeah. clean it up, clean it out. And then delete that. Cool. Now mm -hmm. that feels better. Now yeah. this needs some okay. correcting. Yes. Cause that's wild. Um <laughs> that's just a little bit too wild for my taste. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Go over there. Boom. Bam. What you doing? What you doing? No. Oh. oh, I know why I did that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That's why. Put uh, that over. Hmm. 
It's still going to do this. Oh, my gosh. All right. I'm doing it a different way because I don't want to spend too much time on that either. Awesome. We are going to take this again and go back into... Oh, do I need to do that? Actually, let me double check before I even get too deep into that. Mm. All right, now, Shake. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> do you, do you want to cooperate? All righty then. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Shake has oh, a mind of its own. I know exactly why it's doing that. And that if y'all have any other questions for Roy, make sure you drop them in the chat. We are getting close to, we're about the 10 minute mark or so now from completing. So drop your questions that you might have before we have to say bye. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this was fun. This was extremely enjoyable. Um, I hope I can at least get this little piece finished before we get out of here. Man, this is, this is wow. What angle do I want to approach this uh, with? I see what you're do talking about. Yeah, it's like that one little spot. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know what I could do. I'm going to overextend myself yeah. into doing that because it just wants to do whatever it feels like doing today. And then I'm going to go in and make the skin from there. Mm, okay, I see what you're saying. Mm, okay, it's inverted still. I don't know why it does that, but I'm just going to go with the flow. That looks very janky, but it is okay. <laughs> Ah, I know why. Okay. I'll go back into there. And then we got to paint that in again. Mm -hmm. Still going to look kind of off, but that is perfectly fine. You know what? I might actually leave that alone for now, at least. It's going to bother me, but I'm cool on it. Um, hmm. Yeah, it'll bother me, but I'm all right with that. <laughs> am I Am I lying to myself? I was going to say, you lied to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> am I lying I to lying. myself? I was like, you lied to yourself. <laughs> don't do that. Be honest with yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. It's just that little piece that's yeah. just like, uh, and I can't remember exactly where that is type of thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, cool. Heard you, heard you loud and clear. Because that's on black, that is why. Heard you. That's why I'm like, I know I'm confused at times, but not right now. <laughs> All right, so we are at 218. So this is what we're going to do. I'm gonna make sure that this is the color that I wanted. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna uh, do the same green or are you gonna do another color? You know, um, I don't know yet. I have no clue. I might just do that green. That green feels nice. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, that's nice. What is that inside looking like? Move that over a little bit. Cool. Come back to that. Kind of make that a little bit more down. Bam. All right, 
Oh, yes. I feel like we are just about there. Yes. Um, and we are at that five minute mark. Mm-hmm. So have y'all got those questions? I see some people are saying that they really enjoyed watching you and watching you, especially these past two days. Like, it's just so, for me, it's so mind blowing what you can do with like, people just use tools in such a different way. I only use mm-hmm. Photoshop to, you know, do, you know, photo editing, color grading. Um, that's the extent, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> But it's just crazy to see how like creative you can really get in creating a different form of art. Man, yeah, it's like the tools within here are limitless. So I will say take advantage of that. That is the word limitless. Extremely limitless. Yes. I'm going to add one small final touch to this and we should possibly be good to go. And then Mr. Uh, Handy said, excellent work. I'm proud of you. So. Oh, I love you too, Dad. Oh, that was like that gave me a little, <laughs> was a little tearful moment. <laughs> oh wait, did you just add a preset? What did you just do? You did something. Yep, just added the final little touch to it. The preset that I normally use, so the one that was attached to the photo that I was working on already, mm-hmm. um, which was the original photo, is now attached to this one. Um, it needs some slight adjustments, but hey, don't do all of that. Um, <laughs> Yep, but yeah, that is pretty much the gist of it. The one thing that I didn't get to do, though, was go in and add, like, Mm -hmm. a little bit of retouching or whatever. Um, But, I mean, her skin is fine. Um, So, you know, that is is what it is. This is so beautiful. And just, again, vibrant. And I love the touch of the gray arm. Yeah, that is, like that's subtle but if you mm-hmm. catch it then you caught like a little gym mm-hmm. but yeah that um that's it oh no now my green is switched over but yeah that's it for me i'm i'm good we're at 222 <laughs> <laughs> all right if you don't mind where can you show us like what we did yesterday and what we did today and just kind of like recap you know what we've covered in these past two days for sure so yesterday's piece um i'm actually gonna put both of the befores side by side this was these were both befores this was yesterday's piece that we started with um my friend brianna shout out to brianna also follow her on instagram at finding anna field um she makes great music that's just my little plug for her um started off with this piece and we're going to deselect this for a quick second and we turned it into this piece man so yeah we did some compositing here added some clouds chopped up this tree let me watch um full screen this really quick chopped up this tree added a butterfly added some clouds in there color graded it some retouched her skin gave her some negative space in a positive way and just you know made some dope work so Uh, stunning yeah that was that was a lot of fun um and then today the before and after for today is this so we got the before on the left after on the right and yeah that was that was a lot of fun that's dope and i love that with the two photos what i really love that you did over the two days is that the first photo again was shot in your home Mm -hmm. and then the second photo looks like it was shot was it shot in the studio space somewhere nope at the crib (laughs) okay so like just seeing how much you can really do within your own space exactly yeah you get you get the tools you can get the the strobes and all of that but still seeing what you can you're able to create exactly at home is so powerful Use your resources. You don't really need that much yep. space. I think this backdrop was probably about six feet wide. So if you at least have six or seven feet of mm-hmm. space, you're good to go. Like, yeah. And just roll it out, have whatever resources and tools that you have available and just make some work, man. That's, that's, it. that's it. That's it. Awesome. Well, Roy, thank you so much for showing us your workflow and just 
taking us on this journey over these past two days. If y'all missed out on yesterday or today, make sure to catch it on Behance. Um, and then also before we finish off, make sure you stick around for the Illustrator Daily Ch Creative Challenge with Andrew Hawkradle, immediately following by the editorial design with, um, with Design with Silvana. So make sure y'all check all of that out. Thank you so much for spending time with us, Roy. Thank you for just letting us in and, and giving us this opportunity to see just your raw work. It's absolutely incredible. Thank you for being an amazing host. We oh, have to give you your props. <laughs> you, you did amazing. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I hope y'all have an incredible day and be back tomorrow for another stream. Have a good one.